This video has been sponsored by Solder Stick. More on that at the end. Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're going to take a quick look at this Uno R3 uh, starter kit that I got from Timu. I'll put a link down below where you can get it. It's $9.99, usually with free shipping. So we looked at everything we got the other day in the kit, and uh, I'll put a link to that video down below where we go over everything. But you get the Uno, you get a breadboard, you get jumper wires, you get six of the large uh, 12 by 12 millimeter switches, you get uh, 15 LEDs, a couple of LDRs, uh, some resistors, a 9 volt battery dongle, some headers, and a USB cable. And like I said in that first video, this is enough to get a kid going. I mean, they're, yeah, absolutely. So let's, uh, let's see what we could put together out of this kit. If you saw the video I did the other day where I talked about Arduino is the middleman. So you have some sort of an input that comes in and some sort of an output that goes out. And the Arduino's job is just to process it. Look at the input, decide what to do with it, and then do the appropriate output. So in this case, what can we use for an input? Well, we can have a switch. Let's start simple. We'll put in a switch right here. And a resistor, I'm not a resistor, an LED. Long leg is the positive, the anode, short leg is the negative, the cathode. I'm going to move this over here. You generally want to line up your breadboard with the positive rail <laughs> on the top. And you want your inputs on the left, your outputs on the right. Is that set in stone? No. But if you keep setting things up the same way all the time, then there's no guesswork. Next, we're going to need a current limiting resistor so we don't blow up our LED. It's not going to blow up with the Arduino, but this is good practice to use these. So they've given you uh, 220 ohm resistors, which are just perfect for limiting a 5 volt um, LED that goes to ground. So now we're going to need some of our jumper wires. Do, 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 do. Tell you what, I'm not going to tear apart these jumper wires because they're all nice and put together. I have a bunch of my own I'll use. Let me grab some of them. All right, let's start and get some wiring going here. So we're going to go for one of the grounds on the Arduino to our ground rail here. And we're going to do the same with our 5 volts. We'll come from the Arduino's 5 volt pin to the positive rail here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go from one of our digital pins and it, and it really doesn't matter which one we choose. So for this case, just so everything's kind of easy lined up, I'm just going to choose pin 8 and pin 8 is going to come over to our LED. So now, when we have our input, and the Arduino processes it and says, turn on the output, this is our output. It will be through pin 8. It'll send 5 volts through this green wire, which will go into the anode of the LED, be current limited through this resistor, through the ground, and back, giving us our complete circuit. So now, now we need to hook up a switch. 
there are all kind of different ways to hook up a switch. Um, we're going to use what's called a pull up. We're going to hold the switch up at uh, 5 volts. So the Arduino is always going to see 5 volts on the switch until you push it. And when you push it, you're going to switch that switch to ground. So what we need to hold that switch at 5 volts is a pull-up resistor. And they gave us 10K, which are perfect pull-up resistors for the Arduino. So we will take a 10K resistor and add it from our VCC rail to one side of our switch like that. The reason we use a resistor to hold it up to 5 volts and not just putting it up to 5 volts because if we did and then we click the switch and we ground it, we're basically grounding out the Arduino and that is uh, never a good idea. So from this switch position right here, we are going to go to the Arduino. And we'll, this will be our input side. And I'm just going to call it pin 9. Will be our input. That's just, just to keep everything even. So now we just need to put some code in here. And it's really simple. But when you press the button, the light should come on. When you release the button, the light should go off. Let's go make our code. I'm not going to grab the video capture for this because there's really no reason. All I did was grab the example sketch here. So I went file examples basics digital button so this is button i changed our pin numbers to the pins we're using and i changed this so it looks for a low signal it was originally looking for a high signal that's all it is now with our example code loaded if we press the button the light should light there it is I know this seems terribly unexciting, but if you're trying to introduce your kids, grandkids, or even yourself, you're trying to learn electronics, this, this is a monumental achievement. So that's the simplest thing you can do. Now let's see if we can't make it a little more interesting and use one of the LDRs. All right, I've disconnected most of our original circuit. We don't need a uh, switch this time. But this time, we are going to use the LDR. We're going to keep this 10K resistor. So now we're going to run this LDR from 5 volts and then we'll take our 10K resistor and we'll create a voltage divider here. When you have two resistors, and that's all this is. This is a resistor that, focus, see a little grid pattern in there? It is a resistor that, variables its res that varies its resistance based on the amount of light reaching it. So in a regular uh, resistor divider, when you have two resistors going from positive to negative, if the resistors are the same value, the point in between them is halfway so if you have five volts and you have two 10k resistors and you're gonna have five volts at this point here it's a common way to uh, get different voltage you need for circuits because by varying the ratio between the two resistors say instead of two 10ks a 10k and a 1k well then you're gonna have a proportion down here that we're not going to get into that today just it, it is enough to know that this is going to vary its resistance which is going to vary the voltage at this point all right let's start hooking things up so once again, we need uh, ground from the Arduino to the ground rail here. And you can see now we have a ground connection from our uh, resistor divider and a ground connection here from our output, our LED. And I'm also going to change from the red LED to the yellow LED just because it'll be a little bit brighter. 
in this case, not absolutely necessary. In fact, a clear LED would be most excellent to use here. So now we need to bring down our power, again, the five volts, and we bring that to the plus rail, just like this. And so far, the only thing going into that is our resistor divider. So we know we're gonna have five volts in our resistor divider. So now we need our output. Again, we're going to use uh, pin 9 for our output this time. Because pin 9 is a PWM pin, which will allow us to vary the brightness of this LED based on the amount of light that reaches it. And the last thing we need is a way to uh, report back to the, LED, to the Arduino what that voltage is there at that point. So we'll put a wire in there. And we're going to bring that back to an analog pin. In this case, we're going to go to analog pin zero, but you can choose any of them. It doesn't matter. So that's our circuit. The way it's going to work is this LDR will vary its resistance and therefore the voltage that is read here. The Arduino is going to process that and it is going to vary the brightness of the LED based on the amount of light reaching that. So let's hop over to the Arduino. Okay, here's our code. It's really easy. We create two uh, variables at the beginning, one called LDR, which is going to be that read of the voltage divider, and then one called bright, which is how we'll set the brightness of our LED. In our setup, we're going to set pin 9 to an output, pin A0 to an input, and we'll turn on the... Uh, serial communications for debugging. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read that analog zero pin and we're going to store the value in LDR. Then we're going to map our LDR value which in my room right now the lowest it reads is 200 and the highest it reads is a thousand. We're going to map that opposite so the maximum in the 8-bit PWM is 255 down to zero and we're going to store that value in the variable bright and then the only thing we're going to do is write pin 9 to that brightness value and I set up the serial so we can see it right here so the raw value is what the um, the LDR is reading so right now in this darkened room we're reading 277 which it is mapping to 230 which is about total brightness so now if I impart some light to it using a little flashlight here, well now we're right at a thousand and our LED is you know just about turned off. It's that easy. So there you have it guys. Two super simple projects you can do with the most basic LED start or uh, Arduino starter kit. Look, I can even act. I can even hit that LDR with a uh, with a laser, and it does the same thing. I think it's fun. I hope you think it's fun. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. I'll put a link down below where you can buy this kit. Nine ninety nine. It's fun. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. Solder Stick makes quick, waterproof wire connections that last a long time and protect whatever it is you're working on. They sell different types of connectors, everything from T-tap connectors, which allow you to put a splice into the middle of a wire without having to cut the wire or remove any insulation. waterproof uh, melt butt connector kits spade connector kits which if you work on cars or boats you know how useful they will be and the same goes for ring connectors when you need to connect a wire to something with a nut and a bolt 
This is simply the way to do it. Solder stick. Remember them for all of your wire connection needs. There's a link down below for a discount.